So part two is the pan sauce for my line, line ham burst. But the point here is that it's really just the concept of a pan sauce. I've removed everything from the pan, okay, except the drippings. So I left the drippings in there. And that's really the whole point, is that's going to be the flavor. The vast majority of the flavor is going to come from the, from the uh, drippings. I, I just deglazed that, which means I had a hot pan. I put some liquid in it. For, usually it's an alcohol. I used port. So um, I used port, and I'm heating that up, and I'm going to bring that to a simmer. And that's going to get all that nice flavor of the, um, of the drippings into there. And uh, then I'm going to add to that some uh, dried fruit. So in this particular case, I'm using a quarter of a cup of chopped dates and a quarter of a cup of golden raisins. And you'll see I've got it really going now because what I want to do is I want to reduce this down a lot. So I'm going to reduce it down until it's almost dry. And when I get to that point, we'll come back and talk about it. All right, so that took about five minutes to reduce down. I reduced it down to about two ounces of liquid. Like I said, almost dry. It's actually a little less than that. And it's got in there, and all those nice flavors have soaked into the, to the dried fruit. I'll give it a quick taste. And doesn't need much. Doesn't need a little bit of salt. Um, you always have to check that at the end. So a little bit of salt I added to that, and we're done. So that's the pan sauce, folks. A technique that uh, works for just about anything that has drippings.